Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to go over all of the candles that I purchased during the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. So if you're interested, stick around. So the very first candle that I bought is the Frosted Coconut Snowball. I just love the packaging on this one. Very Christmassy. It has the Christmas tree and the little rabbit with the sweater on and all the stars. Very cute packaging. I may hang on to, to this one until next holiday season. But the notes on this one are toasted coconut, vanilla musk, whipped cream. And I love that it even comes with this detailed lid that has the snowflake on it. Um, this candle is very coconutty and I've actually never burned this fragrance before. So I'm kind of wondering how well it would do in the summer since coconut tends to be more of a summer fragrance anyway. It does kind of remind me of, um, the beach and things like that. So I don't know. I may try to burn it this summer to just see how it does. And if it doesn't do well in the hot weather, I may hang on to it until next holiday season. The next candle that I picked up is one of my all-time favorites and it is Marshmallow Fireside. Now this one again comes in the Christmassy packaging and it has the Christmas tree with the bear in the sweater and it's kind of got this um, plaid background here. This one is absolutely amazing, especially in the cold weather. The notes on this one are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber. So if you're someone who likes marshmallowy scents or like campfire type scents, uh, you'll probably really like this one. This really reminds me of one of the Woodwick candles. Uh, Woodwick is owned by Yankee Candle, I believe and it's called Fireside. It smells almost exactly like this, only this one is a fraction of the cost. This one just smells amazing. I have this in a bunch of the wallflowers as well so that um, my whole house is constantly smelling like this. Love that one. The next candle I picked up is called Black Tie. This one is a very masculine scent. If you're not a fan of masculine scents, I don't suggest buying this one. This one came a little bit worse for the wear. The wax clearly melted and then kind of moved around in there quite a bit. Um, but this is what the packaging looks like. Uh, very cute packaging. The scents on this one are green sage, sandalwood, tonka bean. So not a lot of notes listed, but this is again, one of the good ones. Um, this one reminds me a little bit of the Yankee Candle called Midnight Summer. Again, that one's very masculine, um, but in my opinion, it smells great, so highly recommend. The next candle I picked up is called Spiced Gingerbread. This one's not as sweet as the Gingerbread Marshmallow, um, but it smells great nonetheless. It does smell like gingerbread cookies or ginger snaps, baking. Uh, you can really smell those spices in there. The notes listed on this one are vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, fresh ground nutmeg. And again, you can really smell the spices in this one. It, um, this one came in this really cute Christmassy packaging as well with the little gingerbread cookies all over it. Very cute. And so the next candle that I picked up, I actually got two of them because the reviews were so amazing on it. Um, it is Salted Pretzel Milkshake. So here are the two that I ordered. And these were from the Summer Collection and the scent notes on this are creamy vanilla ice cream, salty pretzel bits, gooey chocolate drizzle. And I have to say, you can really smell all of that when it's cold. I have not burned this one yet. I'm really hoping that um, it lives up to those reviews. I'm really looking forward to this one. Unfortunately, when I originally ordered these, two of them, Another one that I ordered was the Pure Wonder, and I think this one was discounted simply because they are changing the packaging for Valentine's Day, but this is what the packaging looks like. Very pretty, um, kind of like a rose gold color. 
and the lid is also ro rose gold. I have been burning this one for a while. I do need to trim my wicks a little bit there um, before I burn it next, but this one's um, very interesting. It's a, a very light fragrance, and the scents on this one are iced rosé, star jasmine, and warm white amber. When I burn it, I do get a lot of fruitiness um, from it, but that might be from that iced rosé. Either way, it does smell really good, and I would I would definitely repurchase this one. All right, so the next candle that I purchased is Strawberry Pound Cake. Um, this one smells amazing to me. Uh, unfortunately, this one also came a little bit uh, worse for the wear. This one completely moves in the jar, so you can see that when I tip it over, the wax falls up and down. I don't think that's going to affect the burning of the candle, but this one, it smells amazing. It really does smell like a strawberry shortcake. And I have burned this one before, and it really does make the entire house smell like somebody just baked a fresh strawberry shortcake or strawberry pie. The notes on this one are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. And I would say this one definitely, definitely is worth picking up when you can find it. The next candle that I picked up is Berry Waffle Cone. This is also from the Summer Collection, and this one is just absolutely adorable, very beachy uh, label here. The notes on this one are Sweet Summer Berries, Golden Waffle Cone, and Creamy Vanilla, and I cannot wait for summer to roll around so that I can burn this one. It, it really does smell like a strawberry or some type of berry um, ice cream in a waffle cone. It smells absolutely amazing. <laughs> Next, I picked up the Perfect Christmas. Um, the notes on this one are fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. Honestly, when the candle is cold, all I smell is that fresh cut pine. I don't smell any marshmallow and I don't smell any cinnamon. Um, although I have not burned this one yet. So I am hopeful that when I do get around to burning it, I'll be able to smell the marshmallow and the cinnamon because it really does sound amazing. But if it's in there, it's very, very light and you cannot smell it cold. But the packaging is cute. I love the red colored wax. And then it's got Santa's sleigh here with the presents absolutely adorable. Now that was the last of the three wick candles that I picked up. The last candle that I picked up was one of the single wicks. I don't usually buy these because by the time during the semi-annual sale, by the time they discount these bigger ones, it's a better value for the money to pick up the big three wick one than the single wick but I did want to try this one out. Um, this one is called Mary Cookie and it's absolutely adorable. I love the packaging. It's got the little king and the queen gingerbread people on there with the little gingerbread stars and Christmas trees in the background. Very cute. I have been burning this one. Again, don't judge the wick. <laughs> I will definitely trim it before I burn it. Um, but I have been burning this one for a while. I will say this absolutely does smell up the house and it makes it smell like I'm baking sugar cookies. I should have picked up the big jar in this one, but um, I can definitely do that next year. All right, you guys, so that's all of the candles that I picked up at Bath & Body Works during their semi-annual sale. Let me know what candles you picked up, if you picked any of the same ones that I did or what different ones you got. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.